Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Andy. I am a variety streamer on Twitch and I do reaction videos here on YouTube. Today we're watching episode 5 of The Expense. So in the last episode, everyone was trying to work together so they could destroy Eros with the Mormon spaceship. However, it seems that this virus has created some sort of force field around Eros and it managed to push the Mormon spaceship so it wasn't possible to throw arrows into the sun. I wasn't expecting that at all. It was very interesting and I'm a bit happy that they didn't manage to destroy arrows because Miller got stuck there. I'm just curious about what will happen now and I hope they get Miller out of arrows safely. So yeah, let's watch this. Yeah, he's still there. Oh my god, how- oh my god, what happened? Maybe now is a good time to get off this rock. Yeah. Miller, you're moving. I mean, Eros is moving. What? Eros is, what, 7,000 trillion kilos, give or take? Its temperature's gone up two degrees, around 10 exajoules. Yeah. That's the okay. energy of a two gigaton bomb. You couldn't move Eros like that with a two gigaton blast. No. So the plan wouldn't work anyways? If Eros isn't spinning anymore, how can I still have gravity? Wait, it's not moving anymore, but there's gravity? Alex? What? It's that damn rock. It's speeding up. Where is it going? Okay, so... I guess that, uh... Rescue plan's put on hold. We're working on a contingency. Okay, good. Because for a sec there, I thought maybe we lost control of the situation. Uh... uh yeah, but apparently... We're not telling him the truth, okay. Harry thinks everything is in air. I assume built <laughs> by Mars. Built by Mars? Uh, okay, they're still thinking Anything everything Mars, Everything is Mars. But denials and confusion. What's happening? There was this change trajectory again. Where? Where to? It's now on a direct collision course with Earth. I knew it. I knew, I knew that it was going to go somewhere where there would be people or or somewhere where it could get to a place where to infect others i thought like another uh, another asteroid or a planet but not earth right away that massive heat spike before eros moved what if that's the sea crystal that creepy guy was talking about oh yeah but how is it getting energy if miller can get in there close with that warhead he could kill it stop eros in its tracks Oh. What do you think, Miller? Oh, that would be so cool. I think it's the best bad idea I've heard all day. I mean, is he going to die anyways? I'm gonna take my pet nuke for a walk. <laughs> oh my god, how much longer does that thing have until it detonates? Latest projection, 7 to 10 billion dead. <gasps> well, that would... Uh, in the aftermath of environmental disaster. That would certainly clear up uh, the overpopulation. <laughs> A massive missile launch at where, where are they taking the people? Are, are they gonna take them to another planet or to stations? Eros, can it survive in a vacuum or do we risk scattering it all over the systems? We'll sterilize the detonation zone with a second wave of missiles. But wait, are they gonna try and detonate arrows? But that's just gonna spread it! And get the secretary aligned to the Martian Prime Minister. We don't want them mistaking our missiles for a first strike. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. So do they still think it's Mars doing that to Eros? What are the chances of getting him out of there once he plants that nuke? I help him rig a timer to get around that dead man's switch. He backtracks to the docks. We swoop in and get him. It's gonna be real tight. You do realize that docking with Eros ain't gonna be a cakewalk, right? That's a moving target. Yeah. He's risking his ass down there. How about we do the same up here? You are risking your lives. What are you talking about? You've been risking your life since the beginning of the, this whole show? Friends are probably infected. What makes you think it's not going to do the same thing to you the second you walk in there? I mean, the thing is that he's ready to die. He's not, he doesn't want to infect others. He's willing to risk his life to kill this thing and bring justice to, to people. He's willing to do something good with his life. <gasps> no, he has to go all the way up with that thing? But, oh my god, he, doesn't he need to keep his finger on the button so it doesn't explode? Martian Prime Minister confirmed. They, won't they didn't? Our launch a preemptive strike. Oh yeah. Offer assistance. Maybe they're like, oh, you destroyed our moon? Then uh, go fuck yourselves. This is your problem now. Sir, silos are open. Oh my god, they're gonna throw the missiles at arrows. And Miller's still there. 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, that was so close. It's okay. <laughs> Oh no, don't tell me he's gonna start hallucinating about Julie again. You hanging in there? Oh yeah, good times. I just hate the feeling I'm being watched. That's me. I'm watching you. You're doing great. This is a virus around him. Voices are... Oh no. They're not alive, Miller. They're just echoes of who those people Yeah, are. but are they gonna like get into his head? But what if that thing takes Miller like it did with a spy? Oh shit! Looks like I'm gonna need a minute here, guys. If, if it was me carrying that thing, I would just like my heart would stop every time an accident like that would happen. Oh my god, it's <gasps> they did it! They they standing. Oh no! If it's going to ex blow then it's gonna just bring the, the the like scatter scatter the virus everywhere oh my god look at that so many that's it we should pull miller out now oh my god but what if they get hit by by one of the missiles as well Hi. what's going on out there earth just launched half her nuclear arsenal and i'm guessing they just target locked aerospace yeah and the virus is is aware of that oh. it's trying to do something now it's probably gonna try and make some kind of like protective shield. What the hell up now? Where's Eros? Hell up now? We just lost radar lock on Eros. The whole damn station just vanished. What? Ignore psycho. It's off our radar too, but it's still right there. It's just not reflecting radar anymore. <gasps> it's it's to cheat the missiles. So if Earth's missiles can't see Eros. They're gonna see them. They can't blow it up. Yeah, okay, they can't blow it up, but are they gonna detect? the ship are they gonna see you guys and blow you guys away <laughs> incoming strong message from fred johnson on the emergency channel maybe he can help Council. the opa has a ship in visual range of arrows that can use its laser guidance system <gasps> could they to gonna work together for your missiles my technicians would need to steer the missiles in oh no they're gonna think that they are gonna use the missiles to attack earth he could redirect the missiles at mars or what is Chris gonna say? We still have our abort code. Okay, that's good. I could talk to the captain of this ship directly. <gasps> Holden! It would have to be relayed through Tycho Station. Open a channel. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! This is gonna be good. It's Holden! I'm Mama Sarala. I'm James Holden, captain of the Rastinante. Fred Johnson is honorable. Give him access to your missiles and my crew and I will guide them in. You're gonna believe There's him. No time to bargain. Yeah. You can't trust this man. He's Fred Johnson's puppet. No. Give them the guidance control of the You need him. Mr. Secretary. I vouch for James Holden. We can trust him. Good. He's doing she's doing something. I knew she would say something. 150 live thermonuclear missiles under your control. I thought that would be more. I believe that makes you the most powerful man in the system right now. <laughs> oh, really? And go give me a cup of coffee. <laughs> What is that? Uh, fuck you and uh, filter. Is it is it trying to leave faster? You gotta understand, you burn like that at some point. We're not gonna be around to enjoy the ride. Eventually, one of those little blood vessels in your brain's gonna go pop. So, it's not it's not exactly about them in the spaceship. It's about Miller in in in, in on arrows, because he's going too fast. And if he's going faster, then. His body won't be able to take I it. Get close to the hot zone in my homies. Excuse me? What? See the crystal. <laughs> right. What do you think he meant? Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Haas. Eros is moving away. Oh my god. Call it. Chase or cut bait. Chase it. Chase it. If you don't chase it, you're gonna lose it. And then how are you gonna get Miller out of there? Strap in. Press max speed. You got it. Okay. Naomi's heat map. You know where it's leading us? It's leading us right back to the Blue Falcon. Where we found Julie? I think she's still in there. Miller, what? Julie Mouse dead. We both saw her. I'm not talking about her body. I mean, her, her consciousness. Wait, could it be that the virus is taking... It's getting their conscience and then they clone her it? Her infected her. What if she infected the protomolecule bank? I keep hearing her talk about the razor bank. She's on it. What? She's the seed crystal. Miller, what the hell's happening down there? Stop chasing arrows! Oh, do you 
you think like maybe if they stop if they stop chasing it, arrows will will stop going? Stop following arrows. Find a way to divert those missiles. And then what? What? I'll try to reach Julie. So you think you can talk to her conscience and make her realize that she's dead? Could be a good opportunity. But yeah, it's the best thing that you can do is stop following it. Otherwise, it just keeps on going faster and faster because they know it's being followed. Right now, it's imperative you divert Earth's missiles away from Eros. I'll await confirmation. Oh no! If he does that, then Earth thinks that he you and he think we're stealing their missiles. Yeah. Like this whole thing is a ploy. They've cut their speed. The Rossi's targeting laser is off. Eros is gone. You you have to explain that to Earth. Send a message. What is that? They look like neurons. The bird. See, I thought that the bird was her, like a symbol of her. Oh my god, look at that. It's so impressive. Oh, it's her! Julie. Well, she's awake now. You're on Eros, kid. Eros Station. Hey, we never really officially met. I'm Miller. He you finally got to meet her. I'm uh, supposed to find you. Bring you home. I miss Earth. I know. We can't go to Earth. A lot of good people are gonna die if we go there. Yeah. You're gonna go somewhere yeah, else? We're headed that way anyway. I came an awful long way to find you. Because I believe in you. Wherever you go, you're not gonna do it alone. You belong with me. Where did it go? Did it hit Earth? So, that was a very good episode first of all i just want to apologize about my cat she just wanted some attention and i couldn't stop the video <laughs> so i just went along with it and i hope that was okay i'm really sad that we lost miller but at the same time i'm really really happy that he he found julie because it's something that he really wanted and he was so shaken by the fact that he wasn't on time to save her so it just seemed like it, this was his second chance and when i say that he found her it's because we know that she's dead however this confirms a theory that i had before that the virus makes clones of the people that it infects in this episode we saw that it, it seems that it it um it takes their conscience so in a way the person doesn't really die they just live on through these particles through this virus and this is what dresden was talking about when they when he said that this was the solution for mankind and now it makes sense if your body dies but your conscious lives through then you never die now we just need to figure out uh, how it manages to live and sustain itself because if it, it doesn't need food, it doesn't need water or oxygen, if it only needs some sort of energy source to live, then that shouldn't be a problem. It's just very interesting to me and I'm looking forward to find out how this thing will evolve. The room where Julie was, it looked like it was surrounded by neurons. Like that was the brain of this whole virus thing. And I didn't understand why she was the only one that was fully formed. Would it be because she was one of the first to get infected? And what did they mean when they said that she infected infected the virus how is that possible i was i was so hopeful about this episode because it seemed that earth the opa and holden's crew were going to work together and realize that they can trust each other but now because they had to stop following and attacking arrows i believe that earth will think that fred lied to them so they wouldn't use the missiles on arrows and let arrows hit earth so now earth might think that fred johnson was behind all of this now 
trusting each other is going to be a lot harder. And did Eros hit Earth? I didn't understand if it was Earth or if it was another planet. So feel free to uh, explain in the comments. Also, did Chris not leave Earth? She talked to her husband in a way that it seemed like it was the last conversation. So if she didn't leave Earth, why? Why didn't she? She had a way to get out of Earth and if she's dead, how is she going to help? What was the point of, of her dying? And if arrows did hit Earth, and like that military guy said, it will probably kill 10 million people in the beginning and then 10 million more afterwards, is Mars gonna take this opportunity to strike Earth and take revenge for Deimos? Earth did try to contact Mars, but they didn't reply. So I'm guessing they will either take this opportunity to attack Earth or if they know something about this virus, if they have heard something about this virus, they will probably just stand down and watch Earth being destroyed. And that might be some kind of revenge for them. So now I'm thinking that in the next episode, those who manage to leave Earth will come up with a way to kill the virus they will either have to rely on the opa or unite with mars i don't think mars will want to fraternize with earth but if they realize that this virus is for real and it will be a threat to them as well they will have no no chance but to cooperate with them and the opa as well i hope that fred and holden will be able to talk with the earth and explain to them why they had to stop the missiles from, hit from hitting arrows. And let's hope that they will believe it. And I think it's going to be really difficult to attack the virus on Earth. Because if it managed to make arrows into its own ship, it will eventually probably won't take too much time to make Earth its ship. And then, and then move it somewhere else to infect more people and keep on growing so right now we are seeing the snowball effect where this virus um, is escalating in a way that it seemed like it's going to become impossible to stop it of course they still have a sample of it hidden away and they could still try and make some sort of vaccine but I don't think a vaccine will really help against this. I think they will either fight it or accept it. And if they accept it, they will try to destroy it from within, if that makes sense. But yeah, it was a great episode and I'm sorry for all the crying. <laughs> I'm actually happy that it made me cry. I like when... Um, an episode or a series or whatever uh, makes me feel that way because I think in a way it makes us feel human and I, I really appreciate that. I was just glad for Miller that he finally got to meet Julie and he finally got to be with her. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you would like to watch the full reaction to this episode, you can check the link down below for my Patreon or you can buy me a coffee to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.